1007 or 800-348-1007. What feels great to do is absolutely free, can be done by yourself, and yet no one ever mentions it. It's the Alan Cox Show on the buzzer. WM In about five or six minutes, Gab Cruz is here for a bit too from your Cleveland Guardians. And I wonder if anybody from Youngstown ever calls Tony Hinchcliffe and goes, I remember your first show where you forgot what you were going to say. <laughs> I remember when you were doing open mics in Y-Town and you couldn't remember what you were going to say. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure he started in Y-Town, so that might not happen. Oh, he moved and started? I think so. Yeah. Uh, comedian Kelsey Cook is doing the weekend at Hilarities. She'll join us in about an hour. She'll stop by. It's been a minute since she's been in here. And she's kind of blown up in that time. Yeah, she's yeah. doing really well. Yeah, good for her. And she fell in love. Oh. I will also have uh, another trip to L.A. Well, actually, what? since we last saw her, I think she got married, got divorced, and now she lives with a buddy of mine. She wasn't married to what's-his-name, was she? Who She was married to... Um... I can't remember the guy's name. He wasn't anybody I, I really ever... Oh, I thought was she was of. married to that other comic. Yeah, he was a comic, but I, didn't, I don't remember not, his name. Not Kellen Erskine. No, not Kellen. Oh, okay. No. Uh, well, we'll get to the bottom of all of it. I'm sure she loves talking about it. <laughs> well, listen, I mean, who wouldn't love talking about a failed marriage? Who was that? Talked uh, about mine uh, numerous occasions. What's that? I thought things were good with you and Gwen. Shut up, Bill. <laughs> you know she's my second one, right? Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah well, yeah. Uh, hey, listen, 5 o'clock, I will have another trip to L.A. for you. That's Los Angeles, not Louisiana. I want to be very clear about that. We're doing our 2024 Alter Ego Festival, the big alt rock thing we're doing. Paramore, Black Keys, 30 Seconds to Mars, Bush, Sum 41. You might have just seen Bush at Buzzard Fest. Now you can see him in sunny LA. January 14th, the Honda Center in Anaheim. And I got a trip for you every day at five o'clock. So just kind of keep that on your radar. I buried the lead when we were talking about the Toy Hall of Fame. They unveiled the Cleveland Monopoly game. Oh, wow. And uh, everybody had their thoughts on what should be in Cleveland Monopoly. And um, they revealed what those places are now, like Cleveland Clinic. Now, here's the thing that I think. I think this was basically an opportunity to sell spots, wasn't it? Right. It sounds wasn't like this it an opportunity? There's going to be like businesses you've never heard of before mm -hmm. on this thing. Tim Misney's on here for sure. I don't think Tim Misney is he on here. The cut. And I think people are absolutely right when they talk about what the hell did they do here? Everybody's going to have complaints about something local, but... I don't think Tim Misney, because Cleveland Scene did a whole big thing on, and it's tongue-in-cheek, obviously, Cleveland Scene, but they were like, Monopoly really screwed up by not putting these in the Cleveland game, and I think Tim Misney was on their list. Collect 200 from the bank because Misney makes them pay. <laughs> you know, they got like a little log line for each one of these, but uh, East Cleveland should have been on there. Zero dollars, they say, that's what it would cost. Sent 25 cars to chase a shoplifting suspect, leading to a 35-car accident, closing a major intersection. <laughs> so the places that they've uh, uh, they've put on this, the arcade, my understanding is that there was more than one. Oh, we were just talking, there's multiple arcades there's in There's all town. these arcades. Because there's the arcade, and then there's the Fifth Street Arcade, and then those two. <laughs> I know which arcade they're talking about. The main arcade. Yeah. yeah. Which one is the main arcade? The one that's just called the arcade. The one that has the big ceiling and everything in there. and This one on this side of the street. Right, right, right. Because the one with the no, Hyatt no. or the Hilton or whatever. That's, that's the main. That's the one she's talking about. The one across the street and up is the one. Yeah, right. With that's the, the attached, Hyatt. attached to the hotel. Yeah. This thing this one here. Is the Fifth Street Arcade. Oh, so they had to put Fifth Street to differentiate themselves from the arcade is what you're saying. Mm. The Fifth Street Arcade. <laughs> I'm asking. Yeah, I don't know. Fifth Street Arcade is the one okay. that has I don't know any Addie's other Diner and, like the diner and, and uh, it's the hat Geraci's shops. the next, next to it, the hat shop. 
but then there's the arcade, which is the one that's connected to the hotel. Okay, yeah, the like big, Pizza Two One Six is in there, yeah. and yeah, okay. Well, anyway, the Cleveland spots on the Monopoly board, the arcade, uh -huh. Asia Town, okay, yeah, yeah. Brew Nuts. Mm -hmm. That yeah. feels like pay for play. That feels like play for play. Capitol Theater, Cleveland Botanical Gardens, Cleveland. Now, here's something you'll notice. Mm -hmm. And to me, it feels a little bit monotonous. Everything's about Cleveland. Yes. Whoops. Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> well, they said Cleveland Monopoly. I didn't know it was going to be everything. Well, what do you mean? I'm where where would they go with okay. it? Cleveland Clinic. Cleveland Institute of Music. I like their acronym, although I prefer Cleveland University of Music's acronym. Mm. Cleveland Metro Parks Zoo. Oh, I'm going to be doing an <laughs> Alzheimer's walk there on Saturday morning. It just took me way down. <laughs> I was like... I pulled the pin and I threw that yeah, in the cab, yeah, that, and it sucking. took a second to explode. I mean, she got there. She got there. Right. It was because I was still stuck on the acronym before, which I pieced together what had to be yours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, they put Cleveland Institute of Music. I was talking about the Cleveland University of Music. Correct. Course. And then yes. I got to that one. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And now we're all having fun. <laughs> Cleveland Metro Park Zoo, Cleveland National Air Show, Cleveland Script Sign. Is that what you mean? Sign. The fact that they keep saying Cleveland in front of it. Yes. <laughs> but I, was, I, was just, I was trying to be cheeky, but yeah. I mean, it's, you know, it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> Cleveland, Cleveland State University. Edgewater mm -hmm. Beach. Why not call it Cleveland Edgewater Beach? Mm -hmm. The Exchange. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's, yeah, that's uh, in Lakewood. Record store. Mm -hmm. The CD Exchange? Yeah. Like yeah. The, the, oh, come on. Yeah. It's been around forever. There's but a bunch a of them, chain? too. It is a, it's a is it? Cleveland chain. No. Yeah. Yeah. CD Exchange? The, 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 exchange, exchange, the exchange, the one that's just called the exchange, is a like northeast Ohio. Place. Oh, I thought yeah. it was called cool. CD Exchange. It used to be that, and then they, the I think exchange. they, it was the record exchange, I remember, and then it just so became the exchange. Oh okay. yeah, you're right. It was yeah. the record exchange. That was one of those places where it was like the coolest job if you could get it. Yeah. If you like, you think it would be, and then you get the job, and you're like that's actually sucks. I got my. <laughs> you're like, this is nothing like high fidelity. Yeah. The flats. Remember. You've heard of the Flats, yeah? Mm, the Cleveland Flats, yes. <laughs> the, Cleveland the Cleveland Flats, flats yes. <laughs> Growls and Howls Animal Rescue. That's actually, the Flats is what uh, Gab's nickname was when she was getting bullied in middle school. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, then? And now it's her shoe of choice. <laughs> yeah, good point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just kidding. I put on some healthy weight. We're, we're pushing a nice little B high C, maybe. Oh, all right. Maybe. Good for you. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, a lot of this feels like people just bought spaces. But whatever, that's f whatever, that's fine. I don't know how WKYC ended up being the one media property that got a spot. Right. right Since like Fox 8 is always like, we're all from here and everybody else comes from out of town, which is like how media works, by the way. But um, uh, anyway, they, they said that... Uh, that Northwest neighborhoods. Cleveland landmarks that will be on the Cleveland mm. Monopoly board. That is going to be, I don't know when this comes out. Instead of saying one particular neighborhood, they just lumped them all together as Northwest neighborhoods, <laughs> like Lakewood, Edgewater. Northwest neighborhoods. The cost Berea. of the game is forty four ninety nine. dollars 99 Not Berea, uh, Rocky River. And you can buy Ooh. it uh, online, so you want to drop 40. Listen, it's no coincidence that this is dropping just in time for Christmas. Well, when you need a say, big, long stocking stuffer to put, what? I was going to say, just in time for Halloween. That too. Do you give Halloween gifts? You know, I no. was in Target. Who Candy. gives Halloween greeting cards? There's rows and rows of yeah. Halloween greeting cards. I gave one to my friend's daughter. You did? Was she, is she in kindergarten? It wasn't because I had the idea. It was because I saw the rows and rows, and I was like, this is cute. I'm going to give one to her. How old is she? She Well, when I gave it to her, she was like three. Okay, that I get. Four. But- that's still young. I mean, she's yeah. going, eh, whatever. But, yeah, uh, Halloween cards. I love cards. Halloween, though. Yeah, a lot maybe, of people love Halloween. But you it, don't need a card. You've never given a, a grown person a Halloween card. Nah. I understand if you're a greeting card company, you have to pretend like every possible occasion is a card-giving occasion. I understand that. I I'm just surprised that there's so many Halloween cards. There might be some real, it's a real niche thing, so that audience might really come out. Hmm. Alan, did they include the Cleveland Local Institute of Technology? 
<laughs> no, I don't think that's on there. I mean, we couldn't find it. I don't know if it's on there because I couldn't find it. I get that. <clears throat> Thank you, Bill. Uh, wait, so, wait, wait for Gab. <laughs> I was behind him. Really the Cleveland Local, Local Institute, Institute of Technology. Technology. I don't know and if it's on the board because I can't find it. <laughs> 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 there you go. And the joke grenade goes off a couple of seconds after. Yeah. That's all right. They're really better late than never. I was still stuck on the fact that uh, Bill burned me <laughs> on, a, on a flat joke. <laughs> well, you uh, you get flat jokes, I get fat jokes. That's how it works on the right, show. All right, all right. <laughs> But also, you know, they and did. I wasn't saying that. I was said back when you were a kid. I was, you know. Yeah, there you go. They okay, did there. Cleveland like, Monopoly a long dog? time ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go they on. They did a version of this a long time ago. Yeah, and like WMMS was on it. What's yeah. that? Pass over her donk. Yeah, your no, donk? He's, he's really on to something here. No, I remember that. We we'll had talk that about version. your donk, please. I mean, <laughs> we know. had that version uh, when I was a kid of the, the Cleveland Monopoly with MMS on it and all those, the, the older version. Yeah. Am I dumb? I can't, like, say another I mean, acronym. Are you dumb? Well, here's why I'm a little worried about my brain lately. I was taking a Pilates class the other day, and I could have swore this guy was speaking in a different language, and I felt like I was throwback to... Was like, it Italian? No. I just don't know if I'm too slow on certain things. Or maybe I'm thinking of something else, and then I catch up, and then it hits. <laughs> well, maybe you're he not really saying, listening to put people. put your aisle side hand in this loop and it there's so much going on with this machine and I'm yeah. like I don't know what that even means. And then he came over and was like the aisle side. I and what I, did that mean? And it made sense but I was looking at the aisles vertically instead of horizontally because I'm like there's a lot of little which aisle are you talking about? Are you a visual processor? So I might be very visual because okay. it's really fun to hear these acronyms and then be so delayed. <laughs> <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't have another one at uh, immediately at my disposal, but I'm sure they're uh, the Cleveland organization for. Uh, uh, I don't have one off the top of my head. <laughs> I started and then I I couldn't finish it. What's another C word? Uh, uh, hold on, I, I, I know one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah go, go ahead. Wait. See, I don't know if you're the person to really... The Cleveland Umbrella... Cle All right, how about the Cleveland uh, Orphan's Cooking Kitchen? And gentlemen, <laughs> <laughs> the Cleveland Please Orphan's step. Cooking Kitchen is nowhere to be seen on this brand new Cleveland Monopoly. Right? Pound <laughs> like that one. That's where he dips in. Hey, <laughs> man, no. pretty good. I've got to give you some money here. It's $1,000 as promised. It's courtesy of the Buzzard Bookie. I hope you win. This is your chance to bet with the Buzzard Bookie and win $1,000 now. Enter this nationwide keyword at WMMS.com. Win. That's win. Enter it now at WMMS.com. Alan, when are they going to have... Why don't... Why isn't the flashlight in the Toy Hall of Fame? Somebody asked. <laughs> you think the flashlight... Well, if the vibrator's not in there, I don't think the flashlight's getting in before that. Do they have a sex toy Hall of Fame? They should. They, I feel like they have a everything Hall a, of Fame. A Sibian should be <laughs> exactly <laughs> sex toy Hall of Fame. You got to have like the the handcuffs will probably be on there. Y yep, you got to have like the Night King in there, and you got to. Why have, would what's the Night King? But why would a symbol for a drum set be in the sex toy Hall of Fame? Bill, do you know how people use symbols? Uh, <laughs> you can use them a variety Obviously, of I ways. Don't. Well. Why people like banging on their symbols. Mm -hmm. The Liberator, Hipster, these could all be the Sex Toy Hall of Fame. Or even just the regular Hall of Fame. Why not put the flashlight in the Toy Hall? Wouldn't it be great if next year they go, here are the nominees, and they're like four completely normal random toys. You know, like He-Man, G.I. Joe, Flashlight. People are like, what? I'm sorry? Well, that's what it is. Oh, my. I've sprung a leak. Oh, man. I'm a pervert. <laughs> R.I.P. Sue. Yeah. Rip Sue. I keep oh. just trying to think of acronyms now. I'm all in there. I know. <laughs> Acronyms? Mm -hmm. uh, they're, uh, are you okay over there? <laughs> She's yeah, like sorry. banging her head on the microphone. I, I hit, I are you all right? You know, a homeless guy left a fake flower for you in the break. He left it right there 
in the frame of our window, a guy who walks up and down this street. Uh, he looks like he's waiting for fish to come back to town. But um, he left uh, a little nylon or silk. Ro what is that? It's not yeah. silk. It's got to be a, a little fake uh, rose for Gab. I would say just leave it there. <laughs> You know, go get it. <laughs> What's that? Do you, do you want it? Do you want to go get oh, it? I, I, you know, I'll leave it for the next gal okay. who comes in. Mm -hmm. You know, Kelsey can have it. I'm gonna say Kelsey Cook when she yeah. comes in. I'm hearing from a lot of graduates of the Cleveland University of Nanotechnology, by the way. So that's uh, <laughs> I think that is one word. Yeah. So I mean, but I I understand Cleveland United Nurses and Teachers. That's there what we were go. trying to think of. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Um. <clears throat> Cleveland Organization for Cleveland's Kids. Yeah, listen, there are so many great local organizations that I, uh, I'm i not sure why so many of them were left out on the Cleveland Monopoly Board. But uh, it was not our choice to make. You know, I think that there was probably a certain portion of this where uh, people voted. But uh, yeah, I think there's also an unsung hero, the foundation... <laughs> Foundational <laughs> University of Cleveland Kinetics. Uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> Shaker Heights Institute of Technology is checking in. Okay, thank you. I don't know what that mascot is, but <laughs> I appreciate you checking in. Hmm. Anyway, I mean, it's 50 bucks or $45, and you'll, you'll probably get uh, plenty of people buying it for Christmas, and it'll be just fine. I was reading that Netflix is going to... Oh, first, of, first of all, if you have a Netflix account, and most people do, you got the email that they're raising their rates. They said as soon as the SAG after strike is over, FYI, our rates are going up. They didn't even wait that long because that strike is still going on. They're like, we're up in the subscription price and we're going to open stores, which feels very much to me like a place called Blockbuster Video. Everything old is new again. I don't know what they're looking to do. Remember when Amazon opened brick and mortar stores in a handful of cities? They had them in Seattle. We had one, in, a couple of them in Chicago. And they were like, oh, it's all the great stuff from Amazon in the store. Shut down. I mean, it was there for like maybe four or five years. But people were like, what is the point of this? This is ridiculous. Walk in, you know, you buy, what's the ki the Kindle? Is that what it's called? You know, you could buy whatever you want. And now Netflix is like, well, we're going to... We're going to try our hand at this. We're going to open up Netflix stores in a couple of cities, and we're going to see how it goes. Hmm. Why? That's everyone's question. Everybody's asking the exact same question. I don't have a DVD question. player. I don't have, like, I can do everything on my phone. After this new Crown season, well, actually, they, they made it a two-parter season. They have part one, uh, sept or no, October or November, and then the other one is like a month later. They did that to get extra sub subscribers or to make make people stay on longer. After that, after I'm done watching that season, I'm done. I'm washing my hands of Netflix. Elite it, uh, premieres tomorrow. I watch that. I binge that, and then I'm done. You're washing your poop fingernails. On <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> they're not about to get me. They're bullies. <laughs> yeah, they are. It is. It's getting ridiculous. But not like it matters to me. I'm on someone else's account. <laughs> me too. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you guys are so all what do you even care? What yeah. do you even care, pound cake? You're not, you're not paying for it. At least Gab is like, I don't care. I'm on somebody else's. Yeah. You, you gotta, are too, and you, you care match. for some reason. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, I don't like the, I don't like having to do that. Like I, I But you haven't paid that. your admission price to have an opinion. Just like you don't vote, so you can't talk about that stuff. That's right. You didn't vote. You know how it go. You know what it be. You don't think it'd be like it be, but it do. People don't think it'd be like it be, but it do. That's right. <laughs> I've got to take a break. If you want to send a text, 35192 uh, to do that. I'll have those seven floors of hell passes for you a little bit later on. Five o'clock is going to be the next uh, keyword to put you in L.A. for uh, next year's Alter Ego Festival in January. The Alan Cox Show on 100.7 WMMS. And everywhere you go on our free iHeartRadio app. Rover's Morning Glory. Charlie, I hear you're getting a whole new...